hello friends this is Vineet welcome to my youtube channel tech is up so today's tutorial is all about how we can do parallel testing in n unit so i have already covered some other videos on ms test and n unit so this is uh, actually about how uh, the different ways we can do the parallel testing with the help of n unit framework so i have already created the n unit uh, project and i have a, a browser.cs which have the method to launch the browser so this is for firefox and chrome then we have a parallel test so actually it has two classes so and two, two tests in each class so there are four uh, four uh, tests and actually it's uh, three of them are to launch the browsers and one is actually a normal uh, actually it's just a multiplication so actually it's, it's based uh, on uh, how how many browsers we can open at the same time and all those things so the scenario that I've selected so before running it in parallel I will just run the test case in sequential mode so I will just start with my first class like this test sum and test div So you can see it's sequential first this is running and this is not running so that's how we come to know that whether it is parallel or not so now after this now the second script will come and both of them are chrome browsers only so you can see now the script is running sequentially so uh, so there are two ways we by which we can uh, do the parallel session the first one is by use make using of this parallelizable attribute so I'm use making this so you have to add this one line of code above the class level so actually you can see uh, there is an attribute called parallelized scope so it has four uh, uh, attributes like all children fixtures and self so based on what we select uh, the behavior will be different so as of now I am selecting all so that the all method should run and uh, actually this uh, when we do the parallelization actually uh, the thread is actually taken up by the end unit so actually it can uh, use the same thread to run multiple test cases or it can use different thread to run the uh, test cases and I am uh, since I am using a different browser actually you will not be seeing it as a parallel but actually it is triggering the both the browsers uh, parallel but it will only start when one browser closes then only the other browser will start but if you are using two chrome then you can see that it is running parallel so as of now I will start the test sub and test sum so you can see these are two different browsers so if I run them you can see both of them starts here but actually one will only once the chrome closes then only the firefox will be displayed here so you can see the both of them are starting and you can see that now the uh, chrome is running once this chrome closes immediately the firefox will start okay so 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 it's actually running a uh, parallel but there is some delay since uh, it's two browsers but if you are using chrome then actually it will be running parallel so actually it is uh, there is a there is some uh, uh, draw with the uh, cross browsers so you can see one test case failed and one test case passed okay now what i will do is i will take the same chrome browser from two classes so i have one in uh, the test div and then i have test sum test div and test sum so you can see the both will run actually at the same time so you can see both are parallel and the two browsers have opened So that's how actually it's working when it comes to Chrome. So you can see it, too, it will uh, stop at the same time. So it's like if the Chrome browsers we are using and it's in the different classes, then it should be running parallelly. But if you are using 
one chrome and one firefox then the threads will be starting parallelly but you will be only able to see the second browser when the first browser is closed and then there is some concept called level of parallelism so that is actually uh, defined by enuit itself in uh, if you are not uh, specifying anything but there is a way where we can specify how much thread we have to run and all those things so this is one of the way by which we can parallelize the n unit and i will also show you there is an another way where we can do the same thing so now you can see i have disabled the parallelize and if i run the script again so it's first starting this then only the second uh, dry, uh, test will start okay so so that's a uh, sequential so if we have a parallel class and if we have these two attributes like the same attribute that we uh, give at the class level if we have the same so that class should not have anything else it should have only two line of code that is the parallelism and the uh, level of parallelism so now since i have given it two so only two threads will be running at uh, uh, two workers thread will be running and the remaining will wait for uh, until these two are over so now you don't have to give the parallelizable attribute at above the class level so for example i have test sum test sub and test div so actually these are the three scenarios where i have uh, uh, chrome so i uh, browser so i will be selecting three and i will be running it So now you can see two has started but one is pending so it's because of the uh, level of parallelism the first two the, that means the two that will be selected will be running and then uh, once that is over the remaining will be running So you can see immediately the chrome open so the issue is with because it's because of three different uh, that means two different browsers and you can see that uh, two of them are passed and one is failed okay so so that's pretty much about the parallel testing so either you have to use this parallelizable parallel scope of all at, at all the class level but you don't want to do the level of parallelism because it will be automatically uh, taken by the unit based upon the threads and the core of the system and if you don't want to have it like that then just create a parallel class and have these two codes in that so that it will be applicable to assembly itself so whatever classes and tests inside an assembly it will be uh, taken automatically and you will be able to do it parallelly so that's all about a uh, parallel execution in your unit in unit thank you for watching the video have a good day bye